kind of in the dark here. It's kind of a little shaded here. It's a secret place here. And I got my cold steel Bushman. Good knife. Good safe solid knife to use. Okay. Just put that right in there. I'm not sure if a Bushman would use it, but here by this tree. And uh I like this tree. This is an old growth tree. This is an old oak. Old growth tree. It goes up what about 80 foot before it hits a limb. Great tree. Wonderful tree. And imagine at one time this whole area was just full of trees like that. It'd actually be dark like this during the day. Actually darker than this. So dark in fact that the squirrels were black and darker colors and that's when they cut all this out. That those animals just stuck out like a sore thumb. But brother taking a picture of the tree looks like he's praying to it. You praying to the tree. You are. Big old tree. <laughs> I'd say, judging what I know about oak trees like that, red oak, the top and the base. What you see when you see an old growth tree is it's not so much the top up here. When you get to the bottom, you start to see this, this part where it starts puffing out. That's, that's an older growth tree. You see the line? That's another sign, that line that runs up it. I'd say that's about a five, six hundred year old tree, something like that. Being that it's grown so slowly and grown and has that, you can walk right by an old growth tree and it may not even be as big as like a, uh, a regular sized tree. It's all in those certain things you look for. See he's that line and just, just the look in the bark. Um, the kind of spacing you have in it. Love that.